Critical race theory. What is it? I mean, I'm sure you know the talking points. But a more important question than what is it would be why the fuck are we arguing over it? You might have a guess over who decided to make it the next battleground in the American culture war. You think it was this guy? Or maybe it was this guy. Or him, or him, or any of these guys. Maybe it was a think tank. Well, it wasn't any of these guys. It was a documentary filmmaker turned small-time reporter turned failed city council candidate. In other words, a fucking nobody. That's him. And he's about to get an email that gets him a big, conservative, hard one. Interpersonal racism. Prejudgment, bias, or discrimination by a white individual towards a person of color. Institutional racism. Policies, practices, procedures, and culture of an institution or system that work better for white people and cause harm to people of color. Structural racism. The history, culture, and current reality of racism across institutions and or systems. When the, institu when the institutional racism of multiple institutions overlaps to form a web of racism impacting people and communities of color. That's it. The article that starts it all. City of Seattle holds racially segregated civil rights training in the name of social justice by Christopher fucking Rufo. Now might be a good time to talk about critical race theory since Rufo is about to confuse a lot of people as to what it actually is. So here is Vegas, your student body vice president, to explain it as he works out. Good old racism. It's when a crazy dude on the subway calls you a slur. Or it's when a Klansman runs muck with a burning cross. Or it's when a hate crime happens. Well, people of color in this country have known far too long that's an oversimplification. So some scholars in the 70s and 80s decided to look back at the civil rights movement. And they started looking at the problems that they were facing with currently, you know, redlining, unequal job opportunities, etc. And uh, he started to publish some articles. Kimberly Crenshaw, one such scholar, coined the term critical race theory. It's a simple idea that whether you personally hold racist beliefs or not, you live in a society with racist structures and people of color overall are at a disadvantage. You know, I could cite some examples or explain how rich white plantation owners invented race in order to stop the poor whites from allying with the African slaves, but uh, I'm done lifting my weights. Now, Chris Rufo, thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, Appreciate it. thanks so much. You know, Tucker, this is something I've been investigating, and conservatives need to wake up. This is an existential threat to the United States and the bureaucracy, even under the Trump administration. It's being we weaponized against core American values, and I'd like to make it explicit. The president and the White House, it's within their authority and power to immediately issue an executive order abolishing critical race theory training in from the inside the federal government. And I call on the president to immediately issue this executive order and to stamp out this destructive, divisive, pseudoscientific ideology at its root. Chris Ruffo, thanks so much for your report tonight. I appreciate it. Hi, this is Christopher Ruffo. Chris, this is Mark Meadows, Chief of Staff, reaching out on behalf of the president. You saw your segment on Tucker last night. He's instructed me to take action. We'd like to fly you out to D.C. to help with the executive order. That really happened. Just like that, Mark Meadows called him because Donald Trump was watching Fox News. And he did help draft that executive order. And he consulted on the language for some of these laws, restricting critical race theory from the workplace and in school across the country. Rufo got a fancy new job at a conservative think tank. He built himself a new home studio for whenever he gets to talk to Fox News or Newsmax. He's doing well for himself. Okay, okay, wait, stop. You're probably wondering what the fucking point of all this is. Who cares about who Christopher fucking Rufo is? Why does it matter that he came up with CRT as a talking point? Well, you should probably remember that before he decided to start crying on national news about anti-bias training, he was a nobody. A fucking loser. And looking ahead to 2024, it's probably time we make sure he loses.